Welcome everybody to Circle Back to You. I'm your host, Jason Wilson. Today we have our friend Anastasia Galkowska. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jason. And it's a pleasure to be back. Um, I have been at your show two years ago. I mean, oh my God, the time goes fast. Yes, so I know. I had to have you back because, you know, we need to do a refresh, a fresh new episode. So much has happened within that three years. So we're going to talk about what you're doing now. But Anastasia is CEO of Expose Network, psychologist, filmmaker, best-selling author, and actress. So Anastasia, tell us about Expose. How did you start with that? Um, and, you know, what is it about? But before we do that, uh, Anastasia, what was your childhood dream? Um, my childhood dream, and thank you for having me back. I got sentimental and emotional. Childhood dream. Um, it, it was to be a nun. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much I um, had this connection with God. And I uh, wanted to serve God. <laughs> I will get emotional. <laughs> but... Well, I was actually, you know, in this kind of nun school for a while. And one of the nuns said to me, ask me. Um, she was one of the older ones there. And uh, I was, you know, 17, 18. Mm. And she asked me, have you ever been with a man? <laughs> and then, um, you know, I look at her in this, you know, the uniform of the nun, we're sitting in this library, secretly talking <laughs> about life. It's kind of spicy, but, you know, cozy. And um, I said, no, which was true. You know, I never had even boyfriend. I grew up, you know, a Catholic and it was really strict going to church and all of that. Mm, and she, um, you know, saving myself to the marriage. <laughs> um. And she is like, well, before you decide to, well, she look at me and, you know, it feels like something is coming. <laughs> and and she's like, well, if, before you decide to become a nun, I want you to be with a man. And then I thought, hmm, <laughs> yeah, interesting. <laughs> and then, you know, she, she just said, make sure to then don't tell anyone we had this conversation. <laughs> it was kind of her, you know, secret, <laughs> our secret, but um, um, you know, why I'm bringing this memory is that it brought in me this desire to expand and see the world. And, you know, I had this pleasure to live, you know, a little bit in Denmark, in Germany for five years in Spain before coming to United States in Spain, I was getting my psychology degree. And now I'm in California since 2019, before the pandemic, that's when I came here. And, you know, it has been five years and, um, and a journey of uh, healing and um, being with a man <laughs> and all of that, w which comes up. And when you are not with the right one, men or women, and doing expose. So, uh, what is expose about? Your story is your power. <laughs> uh, it is about sharing your story of trauma in a community. You know, it's going back to the mother earth in a way of how people used to live in a village and being surrounded by others. When they came from war, from any trauma, they used to be surrounded by others. And there are some communities, cultures where they are still living like that. And the research shows there is less PTSD in cases of those certain cultures where, you know, yeah, when the military comes from a war and they have families, it is this kind of closure. Like you never get a closure. <laughs> Which many of us wants to get a closure and answer why this happened, why never they never apologize. It is a way to expose not just yourself or the abuser, but just the story. If you look back, you know this is what has what's going on with domestic violence has been going on through centuries, you know, and it's nothing new. It's just 
different people repeating the same kind of uh, dynamic. So that's why I go back to where we came from, which is let's sit in circle, a cycle, no, a circle, circle. <laughs> I break the cycle <laughs> for sitting in this circle and connect. Trauma happens when we are isolated. And um, having that support, which exposes stands for, we do have a Facebook group for survivals. It's for free. And I open a nonprofit, which the purpose is to help through therapy and educational video, um, which is expose media and all the upcoming 15 episodes on August 22nd, starting. Um, so yes, to answer the question, it is sharing your story in a safe space. You want to make sure when you share your story, it's a safe space and, um, receiving, you know, learning to giving, to give yourself compassion as you feel the love from others. It almost allows you to like, gives you, you start to model by watching others giving you the compassion and the support to start to model that and slowly being able to give it, it to yourself because that's how we humans learn you know we watch our caregivers and if they were emotionally disconnected if they were not there making eye eye contact and checking on us we develop this mechanism of um, well, there are different mechanisms, but it, it might be, you know, freeze or fight or like being in this coping mechanism of like, I'm closing myself. That was mine actually. Like, I'm just going to do it by myself. And um, which, you know, as we get adult, we no longer have to repeat that pattern. We have the choice. So um, the expose is about sharing your story in a community and um, receiving that love and then choosing how you want to respond to, you know, anything what comes up to your life that I call it thriving, like actually being aware of like, this is what's going on in my body. I can, uh, now I know, now I can respond to it myself because I model it. That's why I started the expose. It was purely because of my, the desire in my heart to find people who've been through what I've been through and they healed, they thrive. And as I started doing those interviews, uh, it was like a magic because there was this great connection and I experienced therapeutic effect on me, on my mental health. And, um, and it wasn't meant to, I didn't know back then it would be therapeutic. But later on, I saw there's a research showing <laughs> that it is very therapeutic to share your story, not just with therapists, but in a tribe with others who experience what you've been through. So now what I experience in my, you know, in the last four years, I want my audience or people who are in different places in the journey to be able to just have a better quality of life, know how to set up boundaries, know how to listen to your in your body's signs, know how, uh, you know, a healthy relationship look like. Like the, the idea of designing those 15 episodes wasn't just about the number at all. It pretty much was very purposeful from my perspective where I try to just break into pieces uh, each part of the trauma bond and cycle of abuse. The first one episode talks about grooming and, um, then the second about red flags and it goes, you know, to the episode number six, seven, talking about different types of healing, our body, our mind, how does it look like? We have experts like Lisa Romano and uh, talking about breaking free energetically, which is also important um, because many times it is generational trauma. It is um, connected with as like I said at the beginning, us modeling certain behaviors we saw in our caregivers and thinking that's okay, that's normal. I mean, not even thinking, subconsciously I agreeing for it. 
And even though we said, you know, I said I will never be in this kind of cycle what I witnessed as a child, but it is unconscious what drive us. So that's what happened, you know, later on. And at the end of expose, what I want everyone to know also, there are different stages and some people need to own that, you know, this happened to me and feeling that victim, it's important, it's a different part. And, but then you, as you go through the healing and start to realize, okay, I, now I know how to respond when, I don't know, get a, a phone call from some, uh, some weird number. It doesn't trigger me. I don't think anymore that this is my ex trying to call me from different phone. Um, like from th simple things like, I don't get triggered. I can, uh, you know, whatever makes you feel good, <laughs> Re respond to that in different ways. So sometimes when we leave those relationships, we live physically, but not emotionally or energetically. So that's, uh, you know, just in different stages of healing. And it finally, it gets to the point where we, we own what happened. We see it, you know, connecting the dots and we feel good thinking that I gave, I allowed that person. It was me who allowed that person to harm me. I gave away my power. I didn't trust myself. But, you know, to go from A to the Z, it is a process. And that's why we need support. And um, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today, talking with you. Because I also have checkups with people. Like last year, I was doing a premiere. And um, I didn't trust myself. And I, you know, take the ownership of not trusting my instincts. I thought this dynamic of not trusting yourself and being gaslighted, and having somebody mirroring you can happen only in romantic relationships when you feel like this is uh, not too good to be true. <laughs> but it can happen in business. And I ha learned that in a hard way. It's uh, last year, May 21st, 2023, I had a live premiere in Ventura, California. And um, just making long story short, it was a sabotage. And I do know it was a sabotage because uh, I was the first, for the first time I saw the movie together with the audience. I wasn't, I was deprived to see the movie to the very last second uh, of the premiere where that person appeared 15 minutes later and, and kind of claimed that everything is exported and ready and all the things I wanted that are included. But looking back, there were, you know, hundreds of red flags. I mean, maybe not hundred, maybe like 25. Okay. <laughs> I even put it on my list because, you know, I had to do it. I had to really, it was really hard, but I had to like look back and um, check what happened because I was so confused. I was even that day, I had a uh, trouble to accept the fact because um, I couldn't, you know, back then real admit I was trauma bonded, even though it was business relationship, I was totally trauma bonded. And it was easy for that mechanism for me in my brain to happen as, you know, that dynamic of like over promising and gaslighting and questioning myself was very familiar to my brain. And that's why I didn't step back. That's why I'm saying about the ownership, because looking back, you know, I wish this person the best and maybe they even are watching it and thinking <laughs> why I'm talking about it. Um, I wish, I feel like it's a certain energy in the universe, like, and I'm saying this for any entrepreneurs who are like giving your heart and work out there. You want to make sure to first, yeah, check it with your instincts and whatever people promise you and want to help you with just go back to the roots to yourself and and um you might want to just take that extra time and um but if something like this happened to you then take ownership yes and that's what i have been doing for the last 14 months doing therapy but editing 
I have learned the needed skills and I edit those 15 episodes by myself and um and it was a journey and and now I'm ready for more <laughs> now I'm ready for the premiere but also I don't hide I do dream and desires to do another documentary series and um so that's a little bit about a little bit about <laughs> me well Anastasia uh everything that you that you've been through everything that you're doing right now is commendable I mean most people would have given up but you kept going you persevered and you're gonna have your premiere on August the 22nd ladies and gentlemen uh please check out the premiere uh Anastasia how can people sign up for it if you go to expose a network just put expose a network in Google or go to expose a network dot com it there's a page screening and if you click screening that's where um you leave your email and it will be delivered to your email the link to with the with the um premiere information and the way to see the premiere online it's going to be at 4 p.m eastern time um on august 22nd and for those in UK, it will be 9 p.m. European time. And in Sydney, it will be the 23rd, 6 a.m. Wonderful. And Thank you so much for being on the show, Anastasia. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please, yes, please sign up for her expose documentary on August the 22nd. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for your generosity and listening to me. <laughs> It was a pleasure and um, um, and sending a lot of love to all of you and uh, be good to yourself all. <laughs>